It really depends on where are you located and where are you going. I mean, some of you may encounter several cells this morning while others completely dry. Yeah, the majority of you dry right now, but back over Montgomery County, part of Dixon mm -hmm. County, and I saw rain cell drifting to the north right now. It's almost deja vu, isn't mm -hmm. it? We're on this roller coaster ride one more day, and then we get to exit to something a little more smooth sailing. Yeah, so at the moment, we've got cloud cover, kind of warm and humid start for the morning out there, but as we make our way through the day, couple of disturbances coming in and with that in this warm and rich environment that will help to fire off some showers and thunderstorms. So the muggy meter remaining up there, humid to muggy for today, could still be that way in the morning, but then dropping during the day tomorrow and setting up good weather for tomorrow afternoon and for Friday. So for today, highs in the 80s, seasonable temperatures this afternoon, Hendersonville, Franklin 84, Franklin, Kentucky 82, Centerville 84, for Waverly Paris 81 and 81 back over in the Hopkinsville sounds in action tonight 635 first pitch there is the chance for some area showers and storms this evening it's around 60 70 percent toward the beginning of the game at the end of that game dropping down to about 40 percent but again we'll have areas where it's raining and some heavy rain and other areas will be dry right now Sky 5 live showing dry conditions here We've got a mix of sun and clouds. Those clouds, though, giving some nice color to the morning. Meanwhile, Cookville, you are 71 degrees. No rain, you're away since the midnight hour. So area showers and storms today and tonight. In the morning, there may be a leftover shower toward Cookville, Crossville, Jamestown. That's humid air filtering in, setting up some good weather for tomorrow afternoon and for Friday for CMA Fest. Now, thinking about washing the car, hold off today. Got a couple of good days on the way for us for Saturday. So we show you radar. Now, this picks up on lightning. If I slide this to the east a little bit, that lightning count will go way down big time. There you can see some of the rain right around Clarksville, down into the Sladen community. Right, back over near Charlotte, there's another little rain cell there on the Lawrence County line with Giles County over near the Five Points community this morning, Nikki D. Another day with that on and off activity, but one thing that is always shining bright and consistent is the start to our mornings. Here's Sky 5 Live. Seriously, if you have a minute, you're just listening, come over and take a look real quick. Such a phenomenal view overlooking creation. I mean, just perfection. Seeing some of those clouds and also the sun in the background with some clear skies aloft. It truly is a painting out there this morning. And in order to get this coloration, you got to put up a little bit with some cloud cover and of course some rain showers. Leland pointed out several little showers that we have right now as we go throughout the day by yesterday on and off activity. It will not rain the entire time, but it is going to be wet for most of us during parts of our day. You'll notice when it comes to those rain chances on and off from 40 going up to 60%. But here's a look at Thursday. So this is tomorrow morning. Slim chances right around sunrise. And as Leland pointed out, a lot of that would be off to our far eastern locations. And then we're all going to be drying out. So for today, scattered showers, a few embedded thunderstorms. Our severe threat is low to know what we are watching with some of these cells because we are saturated at the surface few of these to produce some really hefty downpours. So very much so that dance we did yesterday. As we make our way into tomorrow, a few lingering showers are likely and then all of that starts to move out. Your Super 7 Day Forecast exclusive to News Channel 5. Highs today, scattered showers as well as thunderstorms. Temperatures will top out around 85. Tomorrow, 87. Winds are going to be on the lighter side. And then by Friday, we're looking glorious. Upper 50s, low 60s to start. 83 by the afternoon with some dry your air that's looking to stick around most of the weekend. Uh, yeah, so as we go our way into Saturday, we'll go 81. And one of the things that we'll watch, a couple of the models try to bring in a little bit of a shower chance for Saturday night into Sunday. So we'll continue to monitor that to see if we need to adjust rain chances for Sunday. But temperatures low 80s for Sunday, Monday, and for Tuesday.